Good morning, student. Welcome for today's science class. How are you all, petines? I hope you all are fine, good. And revised and introduce yourself with a new chapter that is time and motion. So in this chapter, we have studied that what is pendulum, how we are measuring the time. Without the use of watches, how the, our ancestors used to measure the time, events, functions, and all that. So they how to come uh, to know that which month it is, which day it is. All we have studied. So uh, we are on. We have even done symbol pendulum. Its relations we have done. One numerical also I have discussed with you. So today I like to discuss with a small summary of the Galileo. He is the first person who used the pendulum. And first time he used the pendulum, how he used, how he come to know that uh, this pendulum works. See, once he was sitting in a church, and uh, pendulum was rotating into and fro motion. He start counting it with its pulse. With his pulse, he start counting that. True and fro motion of the pendulum. What he observed that after some time, definitely with this proper length, it will slow down slowly. First it was going like this, and then slowly, slowly, slowly. But he's still counting with that. How many oscillations has done in a one second? Speed has slowed, but per oscillation, time limit was set. So it helps him to discover the new pendulum clock. So from there we get it from his idea that we get a pendulum watches. Okay. So in the last video you have seen the pendulum watch. I have given you the pick also. So let's discuss more about this chapter. With this latest trend in measurement of time. Now no pendulum watches we are using, right? We are using uh, something new, smart watches, wrist watches, and digital watches. Okay, so latest trend. What is going on? Like mechanical wrist watch contains no pendulum, of course, and it all depends upon the balance wheel, right? It's all depend upon the balance wheel. Okay, so quartz clock is has been used nowadays. These watches measure time accurately, like a uh, quartz clock and watches we are using, and they measure the uh, time very accurately. That's why we are preferring them. Right? What is quartz? Quartz has a unique property of oscillating when subjected to a small amount of electric current. What is quartz? It's a unique property, beta, that we are utilizing in the watch. Of oscillating when subjected to a small amount of electric current which is flowing in it, what we are utilizing it now. So, quartz cl clock are more accurate than pendulum watches. Okay. So, this more thing. To record the short intervals, we are using stop watches. Like we can't wait for one minute to rotate. So for that events, we are utilizing the stop clock. That is one by tenth of a second. Okay. Quartz clock. Even it is smaller than a second also. So lower than a second what we are using? Stop clock. For our laboratories, many experiments, we have to cover it up. The racers, we can see in the playground, they are using stop clock. And uh, of course, for our experiments, we always use stop clock because it was of a minute seconds we are talking about, right? So, one way tenth of a second, we can calculate with the stop clock. So, uh, what it is contains, it contains a button, push button, and we can utilize it. We can on and off from that button. It's very simple. We can start it with a pushing button and we can off it with a pushing button. And uh, readings can be calculated okay so nowadays dig digital watches are also coming along now better we will talk about the digital watches what are digital watches they do not they do not have our monitor second hand of course they display the time in digits like uh, directly you can see the time <clears throat> next is <clears throat> Atomic clocks. What are atomic clocks? 
more accurate measurement can be calculated from this atomic watches okay the vibration of atoms for measuring time this principle is utilized in this kind of watches like vibration of atom take places uh, with the measuring of time okay one more type of watches are their timer machines like they are recording the sequence of the events like uh, if you are recording that uh, the washing machine you can see or their timer is written microwaves the uh, microwaves the timer is written in the air conditioners we uh, set on the timings for the cooling so all these timers we are talking about the sequence of an event so all this three type we can we have covered digital watches that we are wearing and uh, atomic clocks that is depend upon the vibration of the atoms and timer machine that record the sequence of the events okay now we are going to discuss about the unit of time right the standard unit of measuring of time is second and we are going to denote it by s and the larger unit is r and then minute okay and second is the smallest one of course so i'll write some uh, conversations i will convert it 60 second is equal to 1 minute okay now 60 minute is equal to 1 hour okay 60 second is equal to 1 minute and 60 minute is equal to 1 hour of course 24 hours is equal to one day and 30 days is equal to of course one month now 12 months is equal to one year and 10 years is equal to one decades and 100 year is equal to 100 years or one decade is equal to yes one century and 1000 year is equal to 1 millennium okay so 1 millennium okay these are the conversations of course we have done in the last classes also but take a revision with it it help you to convert the things like right? if you are asking something in a r then how many hours are having how many seconds like 3 into 3 3600 0. second kis mein in 1 hour if the in question 1 hour is given in question if 1 hour is given then in count of seconds what you are going to uh, record it 3600 seconds because 16 to 60 fine so small calculations are going to be there which help us to do the numericals but the next topic after time we are going to start motion what is motion what is motion uh, how you will consider this see this a tree is there okay a stationary object we will say a stationary object a tree and a person is moving from point a to from point b now how you will consider that this person is moving this person is moving with respect to the stationary object that means if it a car is there 
and how we come to know that what is the speed of the car at what speed it is moving or how much it is moved it all depend upon the stationary object like we take it with the respect of the stationary object okay so when this car is moving with the stationary object with respect to the stationary object then only we can consider it is in motion have you ever traveled in a uh, train when you are sitting in the train a and uh, by one train is passing over from nearby you 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 can't imagine that ki your train is moving or that train is moving how you will recognize that which train is moving because both are in the vibration stage you don't you can't do, you don't know even which train is moving this train you are sitting in is moving or the parallel train which is going uh, here and there and is it is moving so after a few second when it pass away like parallel train passed away you'll see a stationary object oh the station platform acha it is there only oh that's why that train is moving we are not moving that means you consider the motion when you see that stationary object is still there okay when the train is moving with a uh, high speed and we when you see the trees or houses uh, we can see they are crossed very speedily that means our train is in very much speed we don't have the meter speedometer that we identify that the train is running with this kilometer per hour we can identify it when the object is passed through with that speed if the trees are moving with a very high speed and they passed away that means the train is very much, train is in very much speed okay that's all i mean to say consider it always from the stationary object stable object means the object which is at rest okay okay next we are going to cover which type of motions spinning top spinning top we will discuss about this uh, top which is moving it move in the spinning motion it's a rough diagram bache spinning motion when you moving a top with a rope and uh, i'm sure you have done this ever okay so spinning top when we are rotating it it will uh, move in the spinning motion okay one more example i like to take is the moving blade of fans moving blade of fans of course it goes with the circulatory motion and with the pendulum to and fro motion to and fro motion so these are the type of motions we uh, we generally know that right so uh, let consider about slow and fast motion slow and fast motion generally what are slow motions when uh, you walk to reach at the school by a bicycle you walked or you're moving on with the bicycle the speed is very slow why we are considering slow because we are comparing it with the bus the students which are coming from the bus to the school they reaches within 10 minutes and the bicycle student will reach in 20 to 25 minutes that means that motion is slow and the person which is moving with the bus is fast and the person which is moving from the bicycle is slow so this kind of, from this uh, we can differentiate very easily the slow motion and fast motion you can also example it with this it's generally very simple so this is what we have this uh, discussed about the motion as uh, i'll tell you an example one more when a bus is moving in a busy road when traffic is so much same bus will take 10 to 15 minutes to reach at the school but when it is reaching to the lot of traffic it take more time then we will say the speed of the bus is slow 
or the motion is slow because it is moving very slowly due to the traffic so this all i'll consider with this slow and fast motion means if the time taken is more then the speed is slow if the time taken slow then the speed is more how you will consider this will go with the relation and then you will identify it very easily because everywhere everything has logics right so i will do with this logic with the speed okay beta what is speed yes we generally consider that in the when the uh, bus uh, reaches to the school within 10 minutes speed is very fast and when it reaches after 20 minutes the speed is very slow this only will consider but the speed should be in kilometers per hour right so how we will calculate there should, should be a mathematical calculation everywhere there is a logic how much time it is taking with kilometer right so i'll calculate this with the speed speed of a moving object is the distance travel by it speed of the moving object is the distance travel by it in a unit time speed is moving of a object is the distance jitna distance ek moving object ne jitna distance ट्रेवल किया है बाय द यूनिट टाइम इज कॉल्ड स्पीड सी स्पीड कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड विद दिस फॉर्मूला डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड बाय एन ऑब्जेक्ट बाय टाइम टेकन सपोज अ कार इज मूविंग द टू फोर्टी किलोमीटर्स इन फोर आवर्स कैलकुलेट स्पीड how you will calculate speed simple formula is written distance traveled so speed distance traveled i'll write 240 km and time taken how much 4 hours it can be calculated from this formula isn't it so it will be what will be the answer 60 km per hour so this car is moving with 60 km per hour you got it that means this formula i have applied in this question they have written that the distance traveled a uh, object traveled how much distance that should be in kilometers and the time taken b and rs then only we can write km per hour okay so this is the calculation you can do with your own also and you get the speed of the car okay so unit of the speed beta this is according to the question but the standard unit of the speed is meter per second so we have to convert this first don't do that after the answering you are calculating it or converting it convert it first and then answer it okay convert this first kilometers should be changes into meters and r should be changes into seconds why seconds i told you 1 hour contains 3600 seconds so you will calculate this with that okay and kilometers you know that it's very easy meter to kilometer you can convert it and r so can also be converted it with it and you can calculate the answer in meter per second okay now beta what is speedometer an odometer generally you see in the vehicles scooty bikes there is one uh, timer like machine was there clock like machine is there where uh, it is speedometer and odometer both are there in that so speedometer is the instrument on a vehicle dashboard which indicates the speed that is in kilometers per hour that means if we are running our car with speedly we can see on the speedometer at what speed it is running that means it will be shown in the kilometers per hour right 
kilometers per hour it will be written over there and we can see the car or vehicle is moving at how much speed an odometer odometer is also over there so that calculates the distance traveled now instrument used to show the distance traveled by the vehicle how much distance that vehicle has covered can be seen in odometer that means if you have taken the scooty and your mama wants to want to see that she can identify that how much kilometer you have run with finding this odometer right so it will be seen over there afterward also so odometer through you can identify that how much distance or how much distance that car or vehicle or scooty has traveled till now okay so it can be seen in the odometer and speedometer